This tutorial is the first of a two-part series. With SmartPush, you can create data maps that copy data between Oracle EPM Planning Cloud instances and from planning to financial consolidation and close, tax reporting, or profitability and cost management. You can take advantage of this feature if you have subscriptions to dedicated pods for multiple planning applications and other Oracle Cloud EPM business processes. In this tutorial, I'll copy data between two planning instances. My source planning instance displays the Redwood theme. Setting instances with varied themes will help me identify the planning instance I'm currently working with. The data point of view I'll be copying from is displayed on this form. I'll be copying data to this target planning instance. Notice that the planning instance displays a dark blue theme. Here's the data point of view I'll be copying data to. Now, I'll return to the source application. Integration across applications starts with configuring EPM connections. Before defining data maps, you must create a connection to the Oracle Cloud EPM instance you want to copy data to. Enter the connection details, then validate the connection. When the validation completes successfully, save the connection. The connection to my target application is ready for use. I'll head over to Data Exchange and start creating my data map. Enter a name for your data map. The current application is selected by default for both source and target. Select a cube for the source application. For target, click the cube dropdown and select Remote Cube. In the Select Remote Cube dialog, select the connection you created and a specific cube in that instance. I'll select Source Members. Data maps support simple mapping, multidimensional mapping, roll up mapping, substitution variable mapping. Here are examples of simple member mappings. With simple mapping, members are mapped with a one to one association. For entity, I'll select a substitution variable and a member. With substitution variable mapping, you can specify a variable name when mapping members. The variable name you select is passed and evaluated when you move data. You can specify advanced mappings for each dimension. Specify advanced mappings only to dimensions that do not have direct mappings. We refer to these as exceptions. In Edit Data Map, verify that you are on the correct dimension tab and map the listed source and target members. To include roll-up mappings, select the target member you want the rolled-up value copied to. Roll-up mappings allow you to map a consolidated value of multiple source members to a single target member. For this option, you use consolidation operators. For each of the source, make sure to select the appropriate consolidation operator. You can specify multidimensional mappings where a source member is mapped to a combination of target members or vice versa. I'll add a target mapping to Entity. Then, I'll set exceptions. Don't forget to select members for unmapped dimensions. In Data Map Options, you can select options when you copy data. You can export your data map, optionally modify it offline, and import it to another or the same Oracle Cloud EPM instance. For more information, view the Exporting and Importing Data Maps video. Then save your data map. To continue the next part of the series, view the Mapping Data Across Applications Part 2 tutorial. Related videos are listed in the description. To learn more, visit docs.oracle.com.